So if you watched part one where I pulled that cane, uh, I heard from a few of you. And so um, let me just clarify a couple of things. Um, one, as I have always said, I am a learner and I'm taking you along on the learning journey. I am not a teacher. I am not teaching technique. Don't come to me asking a ton of questions about it. Uh, you're not paying me. So I am learning and I'm doing video diaries and I'm hoping that you're learning along with me. So uh, I heard from somebody um, and, and I appreciate the fact that, that this person reached out saying, hey, you know, just consider as you're doing that puck method, you have added an additional full fuse firing, which is a fair amount of heat stress to that to that puck. So it was scrap glass, but then I fired it. So that's firing number one. You know, some glass in particular in bullseye, um, you know, I know yellows and, and reds can be susceptible to this and others. So make sure you are familiar with the glasses that you're using. Some glasses are susceptible to compatibility shift after they've been fired too many times after too much heat work. So by doing the puck method, which is one way of doing it, um, you potentially are adding more stress to the glass and you may have compatibility issues later on because, um, you know, the glass puck is one firing, then the vitrograph is another firing. And then if you have, you know, you're using the pieces in a third or fourth or even fifth firing, then you may, you know, develop compatibility issues. So that's a very good note. Know your glass, know what you're using, know how it fires and, and what kind of stress it can take. I'm also not selling this work. This is just something for me to use. So if for some reason it didn't go well, uh, you know, that's on me and it's for my own, my own product, my own use. One of the ways that you can test is using polarizing filters. And I just bought a pack of these from Amazon. And um, I've got a couple of pieces here where I can show you. I think I've demonstrated this before. In this case, this is a piece of clear um, uh, Tecta with some uh, float glass uh, fused to it. So clearly float glass and tech are incompatible. Um, this is held up so far, um, but uh, it was now this was intended to be a test piece for demo purposes. So I have um, checked the uh, cane that I fired and so far compatibility seems to be not a problem. Everything looks like it's stress-free at this point. Um, you'll see the finished work in a future video. Um, and here though, I want to show you, here's the polarizing uh, films. So there's two of them here. And, you know, when you look at it this way, uh, nothing changes. Uh, and then when you turn it, uh, there you can see, look how it almost looks like an x-ray. See all of that glow, all that bright white glow, that is all stress within the glass. And so you know that you have some compatibility issues. And again, I already knew that with this case. Um, this is a piece of Tecta with um, some inclusions in it and Tecta fired on top. And even those inclusions, you can see that halo of white kind of ghost imaging around that that's some stress that's in the glass now is it going to break maybe not is it going to you know cause issues in the future not necessarily it's hard to know for sure but you can see that there is inherently some stress because these are uh, different materials that, that you know that's a, a metal inclusion that's in there i think it was copper so um again though that's the stress that you can see um again i have some of that cane that i have been working with and I have looked at it so far. This it has now had three firings. If you consider the puck is number one, the vitrograph pull is number two, and then a third firing that I've done so far, and it all looks good. So um, I have tested it under these filters, and I see absolutely no stress. So that's good for me, um, but a very important point. Okay, and I've rambled on a lot about this. Um, the other important point that I need to mention, somebody pointed out very wisely that I wasn't wearing glasses when I was in the video pulling the vitrograph, and that is definitely a no-no. I had safety glasses on earlier. It was so hot, and I think, I was trying to figure out why I wasn't wearing them. I think I took my glasses off, wiped my brow, and then forgot to put them back on when we started to uh, to film there. So uh, I am big on safety uh, in my studio. I'm I'm probably overly cautious in many regards, um, and so that was a big that was a big miss on my part. I I noticed it when I was watching the video back. I should have put a little uh, you know text note in the bottom. So if you watched that first video, creating pucks is one way to do it. There are other ways. This was the way that I chose to, to try it. I'm not teaching a method. I'm just showing you what I did. Uh, and if you decide to do the same, make sure you consider things like compatibility of glass and multiple firings over time. And for goodness sakes, make sure that you're wearing your safety glasses. Thanks, everybody.